everybody just a quick video I'm getting all ready for the wedding I had to order a new dress but the great thing about it is the new dress is white with lace so it's gonna look like an actual wedding dress and it's gonna match the veil that I ordered which is a white veil it's really pretty um, what happened was I had a dress and I bought it um, about eight or nine months ago well I decided to try it on and it was tight in the arms and the chest area I could have worn it but it looked just a little tight in the bust area because I'm really fully busted and I was so disappointed I mean I showed it to Mike and he said it looked fine but he's never in the sorry there's a bus going by he's never going to criticize me one way or the other um, but I just didn't feel comfortable in it, and it made me feel so defeated. And then I found out from the last time I went to the doctor's back in August, I gained 12 pounds, so that made me really defeated. It makes it really difficult for me to exercise in that because of all the pain that I have. And we had a really snowy winter, so I couldn't get out and do the walking that I wanted to do. But today is a glorious 48 degrees. I'm not even wearing a winter jacket. I'm just wearing a heavy sweater. And my Star Wars Mandalorian um, mask. So I just wanted to give you an update. When I get the dress, um, I'm going to be so happy. And I, you know, I forgot that formal wear fits you a little tighter. So I should have ordered a size bigger than I normally wear. So that was really the mistake on me, but it was so frustrating. And I spent like $70, $75 on the dress. So what I'm going to do is try to go on eBay or something and sell the dress. And hopefully I can recoup some of the money. Of course, I'm not going to charge what I paid for it. But if I could at least get half of what I paid for it, I would see it as a win-win. Um, so that is my update for today. I'm heading out to do some walking now and to do some errands around town and put my money aside for the wedding. We're going to be having it at our city hall in the city. It's a really old building and has lots of beautiful architecture in it. So it's going to be really pretty. Um, I'm only allowed two witnesses. Um, so I definitely have one witness, but I'm wondering if I can ask a woman that was very close to me growing up that belonged to a church I belonged to, who was friends with my mother, if she would stand up because it would feel like a part of my mom was there and she said she'd be happy to do it. And I decided I'm going to walk down the aisle with a photo of my mother so she can be part of the wedding too. So that's my little update on the wedding so far. I'm hoping I'm not boring any of you with it. I'm just really excited. I waited so late in life. I'm 48. I guess I should have been married for years now because we've been together for 20 years. But I guess I never really explained to Mike how important this was for me. And he told me that if he knew that it meant this much to me, we would have done it years ago. But we were busy caretaking for his father, first my mother and then my father, so the timing never felt right. We were going to do it originally about 10 years ago, but life just got in the way. Um, so now we're going to do it, and we're going to do it right, and I'm so excited. And I'll make sure I t um, do a video with my dress on, and if you hop over to my Instagram, which is Kelly chance 64 um i'll try to post some photos of the dress when i get married on my wedding day and my new last name will be mulligan so kelly mulligan that's very very irish which is ironic because i have um a little irish in me anyway so but i'm going to sound very very irish so that's my little update for day today and um i hope wherever you are you're having a wonderful day and yesterday I got my COVID vaccine. I didn't have too many um, side effects except my arm is really, really sore. So I'm scheduled to go back to, on the 29th for my second vaccine. And I'm going to sign Mike up for his first vaccine because his doctor's office said he ha they had the vaccine. But I guess they ran out. So we're going to try to get Mike one where I went. I went to like a community center. And it was really efficient and things moved along. I mean, from the time I walked in to when I got my shot it was like five to ten minutes. But I did have to stick around for a half hour because I have allergic reactions to some medications. 
But other than that, I was in and out, and it was a really pleasant experience. And I hope any of you that are seeking out vaccines get the opportunity to get it. So that's it. I'm done rambling. I'll talk to you all soon. You take care. Love ya.